Good morning friends, Linda here from my fancy homestead. This is my May update of my allotment and I know I'm posting it on the 1st of June. I will be posting it on the 1st of June, but today is the last day of May. So in my mind, it still counts. <laughs> there has been a lot of things that has happened in my allotment and um, it is five o'clock in the morning. Well, now it's probably six, I don't know. <laughs> And yeah, let me explain everything, bed by bed, everything that has gone down. There's been a lot. Starting with bed number one behind me, I have carrots that are blooming and I am letting them go to seed and I will have an experiment seeing if they actually go to seed. They're actually blooming, which is great. I have some herbs in here. I have planted my beans three times now because the first time everything got eaten by pigeons. The second time I didn't learn from my mistake and everything got eaten by the pigeons. And then the third time I have done today, I have put some netting on and I have replanted my beans again. I will have beans. I, I'm, I'm in a fight. And because the beans are gonna climb all above the trellis and it will shade a lot of this area that's mulched, I planted some salads in there because salads don't like to be in the full sun and salads bolt if they are too hot so in the shade they go well the shades not there yet but it will be there and that is a calendula that has survived from last year it overwintered I have never seen a calendula that overwintered before but this one did and it has two different varieties of flowers. I need to save the seeds. I think it's mutated. <laughs> Bed number two, I have like a lot of things here. There's a sage there, there's some thyme there and chives and my yellow onion harvest is growing really well. You can see my markers. <laughs> I have planted the sweet potato in the middle of the trellis and hopefully it will go up. And then I have some peas on the sides and these ones are gonna be um, sweet snapping peas basically if they survive. I don't have any more nets to cover them with and I think they will be eaten by the pigeons. Yes, I, I think they will be eaten by the pigeons. I need to find another netting. Bed number three. This mostly is beetroot. I bought one pack of already started beetroot in the shop and um, yeah I think there was something like 500 plants in there. So I divided them up and I have given up away a lot of plants but I still have this bed full and I have a little bit in the other bed as well. This is all going to be beetroot. I have a beetroot here that is going into flower as well and I'm gonna have an experiment seeing if I can collect some golden beetroot seeds as well. I planted my tomatoes Everything is going. Hopefully it's gonna be a good year and not a very wet year. Just 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 fingers crossed. Just just give me a hot year with a little bit of rain, not like very wet rain. But then the forecast apparently said that this is gonna be the wettest summer in the UK in hundred years. I don't know how they predict that, but if they are true then uh, we don't have any tomatoes. They are gone. Bed number four. Corn. This is my second sowing of corn because the first one got eaten uh, by the pigeons. <laughs> so what happened was I didn't have these balls on top of the poles and uh, the net slipped over and fell on the floor, well on the ground and the pigeons could get to, to the corn so they just nipped it off through the netting. I have planted some squash in, winter squash in here as well. I think one variety and it is just coming up, which is great. But I planted a couple more in the corners and I have just noticed that they are not growing uh, because they were eaten by the pigeons. I will have to start them at home and do it that way. Bed number five, my garlic bread, garlic bed, not bread. Garlic bread's awesome as well, don't worry. So garlic bed, all of this garlic has rust. I don't know if it's ready to pick and it's ready to harvest because it's starting to topple over. Please let me know if you know, because I have no idea. And then the only garlic that looks really nice is the elephant garlic that was already here on this allotment when I moved in. 
and I have just kept dividing and splitting the bulbs up and now I have eight plants already. It's great, from three. <laughs> really, really good. And hopefully I will have more next year. Bed number six. Tomatoes again. So they are in a row with like wee tomatoes in a single row. And I had basil here. I had. I don't have any more. You know, all of the basil that we planted together from supermarket? Yeah. Yeah, I hardened it off. I babied those plants like anything. And then I planted them here. And in, in two days, they were eaten by pigeons. I have chard, which actually is surviving well. And then I have a little bit of beetroot. All of that calendula, I did not plant. That is self-seeding and I am really excited about how it's going. I think it is very thickly seeded itself so I might need to take some out because it might overcrowd each other and I popped some eggplants in there, one white and one purple and I will see how it goes. I don't think that the eggplants can grow in here in the, in the summer but fingers crossed. I don't have a greenhouse. No, and all I know is that eggplants like to live in the greenhouses, but this is an experiment. There are no mistakes, there's only experiments. Bed number seven. This is where my red onion's living. Behind me there's tomatillos here. I have four surviving plants from the 12 that I started. I had six when I transplanted them. One got eaten by pigeons in the first night. The second one I just noticed because it was like this big, something has snapped the stem in half. So I'm thinking pigeons. So I have four survivors. My succession ra um, success rate of the tomatillos is not great. So hopefully these plants will produce enough to, so I can make salsa because I ate all of mine. It was very nice. I really miss it with fajitas. And on this side of the bed, I have cucumbers, and I have just planted some Latvian brown peas. On Christmas we have a tradition where we eat them with bacon. It's really nice. <laughs> I had a really hard time finding some last, last year for Christmas for lunch and I needed to go to eight or nine shops to actually find a little jar of it. But now I can grow myself if they survive. I have netted it against the pigeons. And then I have some asparagus pea there as well. I don't know what it is. I don't know how it grows, but hopefully it will be okay. And then I have some borage plants in the front because I like to mix flowers with plants for the pollinators and it looks pretty. Bed number eight. So this is my brassicas bed. It's been covered, so no pigeon damage, which is great, but there was a slug damage. So I have replanted most of these plants twice. It seems that if I replant them later on in the year, when they are slightly bigger, then there is enough competition for the slugs to eat in the other allotment plots that they don't eat all of my vegetables. <laughs> These ones I think are gonna survive. I have some kale in there, I have some cauliflower, I have broccoli. I literally just plugged most of the things in just like they are growing really really well and I really like it. Hopefully I'll get something this year because last year they, nothing came. No, they, they, it was just, I think it was too hot and they kind of wanted to bolt and they didn't grow big. Yeah, tiny little things and then they bolted within a day and I was really peeved off about it. Hopefully this year is going to be better. This is bad. Nine. This is my little squash bed. I planted oka this year. Here I planted ten little plants and I think only like two or three have actually survived and are coming up because I think either the slugs ate them. I think it was the slugs because the damage to the stems that were coming up was underneath the soil a little bit. So they would just eat through the stem and all of the shoots were just dead. I planted some squash here as well, winter squash, so it could go up this trellis. But it got eaten by pigeons. So I'm gonna start, uh, start it at home and hopefully it will have enough time to actually mature. I don't think it will, but last year my winter squash went out 
and was ready by like early August. Hopefully, if I start them now, they will be ready by September. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Wish me luck. Bed number 10. This is my strawberry and rhubarb bed. Last year I planted a rhubarb in March. It died and then I planted a rhubarb in April. Like next to the place where the original one was. I didn't want to take it out just in case it survived. And guess what? It was not dead. It was alive. So now I have two rhubarb plants very very close to each other and uh, they are loving life. Mm -hmm. My strawberries. These ones are Royal Sovereign and they are really loving life as well and they are just growing and going crazy. What I unfortunately have noticed that yesterday when I came to allotment in the evening to check in on things, they had ripe strawberries but I didn't get any. So most of them had damage, like some of them were like even like completely hollow, eaten out and like there's nothing left. I don't know what's going on. Is it wood lice that is eating them or is it slugs that are starting to eat them and then the wood lice? Because it is not pigeons. I will give them that. There was only one berry that was eaten by pigeons and it was literally in open. But the rest of them are being eaten from below and they just they just go in. Is it the mulch? I have mulched with grass. I have taken out half of the grass as an experiment to see if it works and that they're not eating them anymore. But there are so many berries. I don't know how these plants are so vigorous, but I love them. Um, I think they love me. We have a symbiotic relationship. <laughs> I had a very, very bad carrot harvest last year where they were literally like this, this long and I figured that it's probably because of my soil. So I have planted carrots in these pots. Well, I have seeded carrots in these pots and they are 50-50 coco core with compost. And I will see how it goes because the soil is very nice and fluffy. I just need to keep these watered and maybe I will dig them into the, into the mulch so it doesn't evaporate the water so fast. But yeah, I have four pots. Hopefully, I will have some carrots this year. <laughs> so this is my allotment in May. And if you want to see the allotment in April, just, just click there. I will try to link it. I will try to do a yearly thing. <laughs> so link them all together and see how the allotment progresses bed by bed by bed. I think it's gonna be good. This is like a virtual diary. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. If you liked it, um, join my little family of friends and subscribe. See you later. Bye friends!